Schoolhouse Intuitive Tarot. I'm here to do a weekly all signs reading. This is going to be for around November 20th to the 26th, 2023. Check out all your placements, actually. Um, and if you're a Libra, I do bonus Libra readings. I'm going to do uh, two parts to this reading. First, we're going to do a collective reading here, and it's going to be sort of general messages, themes for the week. And then I'm also going to do sign specific a few cards each. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Check out the description box for the disclaimer. You have free will final say, your intuition knows best. All right, let's get some cards for Oracle cards, all right? Messages for the greatest, highest good of the collective, please. Spirits, guides, angels, Reiki, what do we have? Final goodbye, card 72. Seven and two is nine, yeah, so that's the end of a cycle for some of you. It's time to permanently close this chapter in your life. All right, so this is about no second chances, closing the path. It's not for you. Something may or may not be. And frozen in time. Hey, Libra just had this in their reading for this week too. So some of you may have been feeling stuck for a while, but this too says close the door on the past. Don't let it have any of your energy. This is about, you know, detachment, okay? And not being stuck to the past or um, frozen in time, you know? You only get so much time, right? And then we have Power Animal, card 22. We have a couple of twos here, triple twos now. This is connecting with your spirit animal, carrying their wisdom and their power. We have a wolf in this card. We have a horse. All right. This is you using your instincts. This is maybe working with pets or animals. Having pets or working with animals. Let me get a uh, Feathered Omens Oracle card for you. Speaking of animals. Whoa. What do you have? Vulture, life, death, rebirth. All right. So if we're not getting it yet, this is definitely a time to close the door of the past. All right. This is a new chapter here. This is about your rebirth. This is about your elevation. This is about you honoring who you truly are, viewer. Remember, these are general, not personal readings. Your intuition knows best. If I didn't already say that. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and get, um, oh, looks like we had... Um, let's get one of these light, um, well, I forget what they're called, but all the decks are in the description box. I have some really cool, unique decks, and I just saw a card flipped over. Why is that? Oh, card 11. Now, that shouldn't have been flipped over. Cool. All right. Whenever they're flipped over, I take them. I mean, I check all my decks, so how that happened, I do not know. You're manifesting action here. All right, this is being clear about what you desire, stepping into the unknown with courage. It's safe for you to embrace change. Yeah, this is all about transformation, could involve alchemy. This is about your root chakra as well. 11 here, there's another two, so you're getting a lot of twos. All right, lots of twos here. And um, let's see what else we got. Yeah, twos, you know, you could be uh, part of a partnership now. Um, this is about balance and harmony, you know, positivity when twos come in. Um, there's duality, you know, maybe seeing... Uh, two sides to a situation. It, it can mean a lot of different things depending, you know, um, but it generally it has to do with uh, peace and harmony and expansion, actually, you know, it's expansion in all ways possible. Okay, so balance and expansion, harmony, you can be delivered with the twos. So let's see what else we got. Hmm. Hmm. I'm hearing something about a hearing, actually, hearing. All right, so maybe your list, maybe your clear audience is developing. Maybe you're um, going to be hearing something soon, or maybe there's a court hearing. What do we have here? If you don't already have a hearing coming up, don't you know? Don't worry about it. Oh, and also hearing aid. Okay, maybe some of you are visiting an audiologist soon or something. Whoa, whoa, oh wow. Okay, almost <laughs> got a fire. All right, hermit card here, Virgo energy. So this is looking within, right, to find the answers. This is you having the knowledge. This is you taking that time out, that respite that you might need. This could be, you know, you being frozen in time, but actually being productive while in that time. Okay, Libra, or sorry, viewer. I do a lot of Libra readings. All right, so um, what else with this? This is sort of, um, it's like having a dream in holding on to it and not actually putting it out there yet and letting it manifest. So maybe some of you are going to 
um, start putting something you've thought about for a while into motion or out to the world. Let's see what else we get though. All right, judgment here. Yeah, um, you're working with the divine here because I just heard cosmic uh, influence, cosmic connection. So there's something here about almost like it's in the stars, you know, maybe some of you are astrologers or something, but we have this revelation here. Um, some of you actually, somebody might try to come back from the past to an, an apologize. So you could be again here. There's something here about hearing. Now, I think this came up in another reading I did this month actually. And it was definitely about paying attention to what you're hearing. Some of you will be hearing things that will change, like something you hear will change something big. Um, so what else do we have? Four of cups. All right. So maybe not, you know, liking the choices you've had up until this point. Um, maybe not knowing what to do with a certain opportunity once it comes your way. This person's, you know, sort of reflecting and again, looking up. So this person's looking at the star, which are typically up. This person's looking actually their star within star within here. Okay. And that's that big revelation. Maybe there's that light, there's that illumination that, wait a minute, I can actually create change. I am the change. You know, I can actually manifest this and make it happen. This person's pretty relaxed, but they're not moving yet. They're not going anywhere yet. We see everybody here is still. Then what? And then we have the Ten of Pentacles. All right. So this is a earth sign energy. All right. Um, four cups would be water sign energy. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. Leaving your legacy. Um, it can be uh, generational wealth. It can be just having all those resources, getting to a place of independence. Remember what becomes what comes before the Ten is that Nine of Pentacles where this person's in the garden, they have the bird on their shoulder, on their hand and on their arm, and they've been able to um, be resourceful on their own. Self-sufficiency here could be important. And maybe you're thinking about uh, those, maybe actually some of you are developing wills or something like that, like writing your will or thinking about that and wanting to maybe leave something for your kids, maybe for school or something other than that. Um, we have three of cups here, celebration time. Yeah, this revelation brings celebration. All right. So you could also, with this hermit, you could be thinking about your pentacles. You could be thinking about your resources, where you're putting your money, time, energy, that sort of thing. Who deserves it, by the way, you know? Oh, you have the Hierophant in reverse. So this is maybe not conforming, not going about something traditional ways. This could be someone who is also that you, in a, they're in an authority figure. They're, they're refusing to hear something, maybe. Um, this is somebody who... Um, this is Taurus energy, by the way, but this could be about, yeah, somebody feeling kind of stifled, maybe, um, not really getting the commitment that they wanted perhaps. So it could be that you don't want to just commit to something just because you have the opportunity. All right. The initials W and M like Mary or Michael could be relevant. What else do we have? The Knight of Swords. Hmm. But look at this Knight of Swords. Again, stillness. So what is get how do we get out of this rut? There's something going on here. How are we going to get out of this? Let's ask. Hmm. Now the Knight of Swords, air energy. So someone's having to think here. They're still they're thinking about it. This is a very reflective energy too with the hermit. So having to think. All right. Give us more information, please, about this Knight of Swords, please. Spirits, guys, angels. Okay. What do we have? We have three of pentacles. Oh, all right. So, you know, it's maybe how to make all the pieces come together. Uh, maybe you, you started something, you know, sort of back to the drawing board, but maybe you want to plan it out before you rush into something. You don't want to make impulsive decisions. You want to actually plan it out and maybe collaborate with others, maybe work with others, maybe get the, in, um, the uh, input of others. All right. But there may be a nervousness about taking that star out of the cage here a star being you and your idea, the magician though. So if something doesn't exist, create it. All right. The magician has all the resources here. We've got, um, you know, cups, wands, swords, and pentacles all right here. This is about, um, believing in your own magic too. This is again, it's change. It's cycles happening here. All right. The number one, that's another, that's a start. That's a beginning. This is about being confident and resourceful. All right. This is about, um, your manifestation ability. Yeah, really. I mean, and it, that's, and then we have the chariot with it. So the chariot with the magician, it's you acting, moving forward, 
And this is a victory card. And you'll notice that this card and the magician are both looking the same way. They're looking the same direction here. So um, that could be uh, significant as well, like more looking towards the future and looking what you're going to invest in in the future. Because I do see people looking at their resources, maybe their source of income in particular. All right. And uh, moving forward. So this could be a big week of, um, you know, maybe figuring it out or thinking about, you know, family uh, commitments, ties, wealth, as far as, you know, the Ten of Pentacles here. Um, and the fact that I heard will, you know, some of you are, you're planning for the future. You're planning for the future either way. Some of you may want to get a planner or something or get organized calendar or something like that I'm picking up on. And also just figuring out easier methods to do more. There's something here with that as well. Maybe things have felt chaotic, um, but this is moving forward with that. That's Cancerian energy, by the way. And oh, I'm getting a message here. One moment, I channel. So let me listen to this. There's something about skepticism and optimism, making that transition. All right, even skeptics become optimistic with something here. Maybe you're actually influencing people and spreading some positivity in uh, an official way. Um, maybe you have an idea for that that you've been sitting on. But that's coming in as well, all right? And there's something about uh, a warranty, and then I'm getting crystal. All right, so, and I heard something about nothing set in stone, all right? Uh, and just temporary. I'm hearing something about allegations, too. Maybe, I don't know if somebody was wrongfully accused or is alleging something, but we have the Knight of Wands here with it. So, you know, remember the Knights are, they're not kings and queens, right? They're, they're still learning. Um, they're, they're not pages. They're above that. They've actually, they're, they've learned enough so that they can go on and work for the, the king and the queen in a more active capacity here. And this is, you know, fire energy. So this is taking action, but I'm looking at it as not wanting to take action in the wrong direction here. It needs to be a believing in yourself kind of thing. I look at the bottom of the deck. We've got the five of cups here. So the five of cups, I also heard something about in the studio. So maybe some of you are working in a studio, uh, but then at the, we've got the nine of cups here too. So we go from the five to the nine. Let's talk about this nine to five. That could be definitely your job pertaining to your job. There's something about maybe in the past things didn't quite go right. Maybe you've tried three times or three whatever, or just however many times, like you've tried a few things, maybe, maybe you've had three jobs in the last five years, who knows, but you've had a few things and then, you know, maybe you just had to get out of that grief, you know, don't go in the direction of what didn't work. Now go into the future here because you have the chariot and the magician, both looking for the future. Even this uh, card of revelation here, this judgment card looking towards the future. And so I'm getting a big arrow, basically a big fat blue arrow is telling me, you know, maybe it's green too, but it's going that way, that way, that way. Look towards the future. Okay. Looking in the past is only going to bring sorrow. It looks like, because we want change here. All right. We don't want to be frozen in time. As it says here, we need to close that chapter up. We need to do the final goodbye for some things. You're going to know what those things are. You've been feeling it for a while. Viewer. nine of cups. All right. So the nine of cups, oh, contentment. Oh, satisfaction. This is, you know, you, you believed in something, you went for it. It happened. This is about you used your creative powers too. Maybe you used your insight and your intuition as well. And it got you to a very comfortable place. So this is what you can look forward to. But first, we need to get out of this five of cups in this past energy. All right, we've got to let go of that grief and pick a direction because you still have those cups standing. You may not love one of them. If you don't love it, create it. Look at this. Like, as I said before, you've got the magician, you've got the chariot. You're going to be successful. Just put it out there. Don't think about the, over, the outcome. Don't guess the outcome. Just put it out there and see what happens. But this, again, I'm a tarot reader, so don't listen just to what I say, obviously, right? You're here to hear my, my intuitive opinion, basically, or whatever, if that even is such a thing. But um, you're going to need to go within, just like this hermit card. It's going to come from within you, um, but maybe these readings are confirmation or they're inspirational in some way. You also have clear cognizance. So this is about uh, strong intuition. Yeah, strong, like I just said, use your intuition. It is strong right now. It is very clear right now for some of you. All right, I just heard magic fairy dust. <laughs> All right, so maybe some of you have some magic fairy dust, or maybe, you know, you need to sprinkle some of that positive energy that you, that you have uh, available to you into whatever you're doing, you know, add a little bit of sunshine here and there. All right, and we need to surrender to 
you've got the success here. I mean, you really, I can't, I keep being brought back to pick a direction. Like if you're clear on your intention, you're going, you're much more likely to get what you want because then the universe knows. If the universe doesn't know what we want, how are we going to get it? How are we going to get ourselves there if we're not quite sure? So if you need to take that time, okay, viewer, don't rush it, right? Surrender to the beauty of the natural world. Take a relaxing break. Spend time in nature. Maybe that's how you'll get clear. Buy water. That might also help. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there. One more. Surrender to the magic of who you are. Oh, Libra just had this one in their reading. Okay, so we all have magic in, within us. Again, I mean, you've got the magician card. I can't even make this up. Even in the mundane aspects of life, remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness and worth that comes just from being you. Man, I was getting magic dust, magic dust. So here we are, and it was right here, and then here we are with right in this position, surrender to the magic of who you are. Surrender to the awesomeness that is you, okay? All right, let's see. Not the version of ourselves that we try to present because that's what we think people want. Not that. <laughs> No, the actual true self. You have Angel, uh, Archangel Seraphiel. Okay, this is card 44. It's going to be about your foundations. All right, this is an Archangel of Resurrection. So right here, look at this. Under the vulture, who looks like it's about to take flight. You, and also um, with this uh, judgment card too, uh, we have res Resurrection here. This is a fire of purification, holiness. Think Phoenix moment, okay, folks? increases faith. It can help overcome addiction. Um, he can help overcome addiction. And this is about truth and love. So this is um, ask for help. If you need guidance, ask. I burn up blocks to ascension and turn the energy of negative emotions into productive actions you can take. So this is wonderful. This is you actually indeed being this magician and realizing that things may have not worked out over here in the past. You, you're letting that go. You're transforming. You've had this, you've had this time maybe now or you're taking it, you know, I never know with time when I'm picking up on past, present, or future. It kind of all happens at once in these readings. But but yeah, this can be uh, you having taken that time and stepping forward now, really going confidently. All right. And I just heard, and you're all the wiser. You're all the wiser because you know where to put your investments. Okay. You make that decision. You've got to get clear though. It, that's a big part of it. Get clear. Know what you really want. If you're going to wish upon a star, what would you wish for? Maybe the person has to leave it in the cage because they don't yet know fully what they want. Get clear on what we want, okay? That's how we get what we want. What else do we have? Right now, okay? Stay in the present. Don't get too far ahead of the flow. You'll soon trust that nothing more will come than can be handled in every moment. You have support available to you through this reading. I can see it. You have this divine uh, intervention here, divine um, you know, uh, guidance coming to you. All right, and let's see what else. Any angel message here about this transformation? Unlikely, hmm, unlikely. Well, you're unlikely to get anywhere if you stay. Where are we right here? We're in all that sort of pinnacle energy here. That kind of stuck. Again, keep it, I place it right down underneath this star card, okay? What this says to me is that unless you spread your wings, like what is happening in this picture, nothing's going to happen. All right, so we've got to do this transformation and um, grab a hold of, you know, what, what you feel is right. Go for it. If it feels right, it is right. Listen to your intuition. All right, we'll put this one right over here. Okay, some of you may be thinking that, oh, I just can't do it. It's unlikely. It hasn't happened before. That's not what I'm getting here, okay? I'm getting that these are possibilities. But let's see what some of these money oracles have to tell us. Again, my readings focus more on the individual uh, not so much love readings. So do feel free to check those out. And I'm, I've been doing shorts, so hopefully you're liking those. Um, no opportunity. So this is feeling like you just don't, yeah, it's feeling kind of like, oh, it's not going to happen for me. There are many possibilities though. The universe is unlimited. There's an unlimited supply of, of you know, certain resources, all right? We all are given the same amount of time, okay? This is about you getting money in many ways, all right? So the affirmation is, I get money in many ways. Bad job. If you're at a bad job, don't stay at a soul-sucking job. Do work that you love. You know, maybe you're trying to get to that point. This is about, I love my high-paying job, <laughs> the affirmation. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I know not all of us can just up and leave our, our uh, jobs. So I'm not, that's, you know, not recommending that you 
leave your job, but then we also have sell your soul here. So some of you may be feeling as though you're just committed to something, something bad, and you can't move on. But um, we have ripping up contracts you made in your mind about money. So letting go of that, that belief that you can't and that you don't deserve it. This is, I'm free to be wealthy. How about I welcome wealth into my world in a variety of ways. I welcome opportunities to make money at something I love. I'm ready now. I see myself as being rich. I live my dreams on earth. I make them a reality because I'm the magician. When I need to move on, move forward, I do so. I'm the chariot. All right. And we have planetary positions. I Yeah, it's getting sort of an astrology thing. Astrology. Maybe you want to pay attention to astrology now. I don't know. But there are adverse planetary positions that are affecting your success. So how do we handle this? It says do a good deed. It is your free will that can diffuse the worst of the planetary combinations or trigger good results by using them to your advantage. One way is by doing good deeds to activate positive energies. And then we have circle of friends. Your inner circle is having a negative impact on your life, possibly. We also have inauthenticity. Somebody's wearing a mask. Maybe you are. Maybe you're ignoring who you truly are, and that could be hurting you. So the advice here is to make it your mission to surround yourself with people that bring out the best in you, okay? And follow your desires. Again, alignment is coming through here. Align with your truest self, all right? It will lead to long-term satisfaction, all right? So there we are. Let's see. We have more cards coming up. Uh, let's get a, a number card overall for 122. Sign to release doubt and fear. Time to let go of what's holding you back, all right? I want to actually get a card about love. Um, yeah, let's get, I want to get a couple of, if you're in a love situation or you're thinking about love and you have love questions, we have the eight of wands. So there's going to be some uh, communication here, possibly some focused action. It could also involve travel. Um, so we have, all right, we have the eight of wands. Oh, we have the emperor in reverse. Okay, this could this could be an immature energy. Someone you've been dealing with may actually in the past have been immature or could be. Now, um, you know, upright, the emperor is power, realization, like it's a father kind of figure energy. It's, um, it's a very successful entrepreneurial sort of energy, but we're talking about love here. So, you know, reversed the emperor. It could be some, you're getting out of something with somebody controlling maybe that sort of thing, someone feeling the need to control. It's also Aries energy. And you have the two of coins, all right? So maybe you're trying to decide. Maybe you have multiple opportunities. Um, you know, you have more. Maybe you just don't have the time, too. So you're having to try to fi figure all that out, you know? And then we have the Empress also in reverse. So this is somebody who's, you know, the Emperor and the Empress reverse. This is about, uh, you know, sort of codependency. So maybe you have found yourself in sort of codependent relationships. They're just not healthy. All right. This is a need to make sure you're taking good care of yourself. All right. And you're not entering into anything that, that doesn't really make you happy. You don't have to settle. Okay. You do not have to settle. And then you have, no, oh, nice. You have the full card of speaking of not settling. It's, it's okay to start over. You're never too old. It's never too late. All right. This could be pertaining to love or anything really. This is beginnings. All right. It's, it's like having that free spirit, that, that optimism and knowing that you can actually, I'll check this out, King of Wands right? This is someone who's a natural leader, a visionary. This is about long-term success. So, so for some of you, if you start over, there is the potential there for long-term success. All right. So that is what I have for you right now. We're going to move into the readings for individual signs. I'm going to pick these up. Pick them up, pick them up. Um, yeah, it takes me a minute to put some of these back, but I can't have this all a mess here because it interferes with the energy. So bear with me a moment, please. I don't have the capability to edit yet. Why? Because my laptop is 10 years old and full and um, it actually, I'm unable to update it because it's so old. So um, it won't update new software. So, and so also I can't download anything or upload like new software for editing. But yeah. Hey, if any of you know of any great, um, like if you're also a creator and you know of any great editing software for videos, hey, let me know. Or if you have, you know, a laptop that you really like for content creators, it would be really great. Um, you know, let me know. I'm shopping. <laughs> so, all right. I don't want to buy one from you. I just want to know what you like. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see what we have. Who are we going to start with? Let me get out my little pile of names here. 
Oh, we have Libra. Oh, Libra. Libra gets to start first. I'm a Libra. Can you tell? <laughs> All right. Not just a Libra. I have like four placements too. So. All right. All righty. Clear quartz. Yes. Get clear, Libra. Libra, get clear. All right. We can do that. We can get clear. And what do we need to know? What else do we need to know? You can handle this. There's a wise saying, you're never given more than you can handle. Tune into your heart, reconnect with your strength. Yeah, you can handle this. Let's see what your um, animal is. Badger, feeling nature. This is about your confidence with your solar plexus here. Card 24, six. We always want that harmony. Reconnect with nature. Reconnect with yourself. What are you truly feeling deep inside? Feeling opens the door to healing. So get clear. You can handle this and get outside if you can. Your angel number this week, Libra. Oh, that was the one we just had in our reading. I'm going to put that, shuffle these up better. Okay. You have release, doubt, and fear, but also, ooh, look at that. 4444, a sign of intervention. The universe has heard your request, Libra. The universe is delivering. Okay. All right. That's what I have for Libra. And we are still, well, we're entering Sagittarius season as we are, you know, this reading will be during the, the course of Sagittarius season. Let's start out with, oh, we have cancer now. All right, let's see what you get. You get a vulture, 47, crown chakra, your DNA doorway here. This is the magic you seek is already within you, Cancer. Listen to the wisdom of your body. Allow your full potential to come to life. What else? Stop trying to fix people. All right. It's not your job to fix anyone. Allow people the dignity of their own paths. All right. Good advice there. What else do we have? Number card. Let's get a number. Thirteen, thirteen. a sign of courage. Some of you have Libra on your chart. I can feel it. Follow your heart and go for what you desire. I, I advise watching all of the placements for these mini readings um, just because, you know, we're more than just our sun sign. Epido, this is going deeper. All right. So you're going to go deeper. You're going to connect with your higher self as well. You're going to avoid the need to fix people or that feeling you get. <laughs> and hopefully you'll follow your heart and go for what you desire. You know, when you're not taking care of everybody else, maybe you'll have more time to take care of yourself. All right. I just heard Alicia and Allison. Sagittarius, what do we have for you? Let's get your number first. 55, sign of positive change. Things are shifting into a positive light. Let's get your animal oracle. Camel, homecoming. Someone may be returning home. Yeah, 53. This is about your soul, your soul star chakra. So it's actually more like returning to your, your true divine nature. All right, this is a long journey is coming to an end. It's time to return to your true home. Celebrate the lessons learned and receive the well-earned rewards for your perseverance. You get a bonus card. You get a fortune cookie because it's your birthday season. Sunshine. The sun is shining on you. Career and business growth. Fabulous communication and relationships. Nice. Observe. Don't absorb. Oh, I love that advice. If you're taking on the stress of others, try observing the situation from a distance. This will increase your energy deck. What do you have? Citrine. Oh, excellent for business. That's the merchant stone there. And this is bringing in the light. So you've got bringing in that sunshine. So it's looking like you're off to a pretty good start. You want to make sure you're feeding your creativity there, Sag, too. Okay. Just a little bit of practical advice. Um, I feel like that can be, you could have a productive time coming up. Um, Virgo. Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? In the flow, take it slow. All right. All right. Surrender to your fear of change. How very Virgo. Okay. The universe is reminding you that you're cared for always, whether you're afraid of a change in your job, your health, or relationship, or if fear, or if you're afraid of aging and death. Repeat the affirmation I have faith that all is well. And interestingly enough, I haven't even been looking at that deck. So to get it now, it has a horse on it. Um, we were doing a different deck and I was called to grab that one. You have lion illumination. Look at all this fire here, all this 
yellowy, beautiful, orangey. So this is again, like for you, it's also your creativity and what gets you going and like using your willpower and your determination here. All right. This is your being, you are a being of royal majesty. Don't be afraid of your power. Let your divine radiance illuminate the world. I think we had that in a, in a one minute tarot reading that I did as a short recently. All right. 1717, connect to the higher mission. It's time to inspire, teach, and heal. All right. And your crystal is blue, uh, blue lace agate. Find your calm. All right. Find your calm. So just so you know, for these, I'm pulling from an animal oracle, an angel number oracle, a fortune cookie if it's your birthday season, a crystal card. And then I'm choosing one from either it's like a surrender to or an empath empowerment. All right. So everyone gets the same amount of cards. It's just intuitively I, I go where I go. All right. All right. Scorpio. Ah, it's still, it's still Scorpio's birthday. So you get a fortune cookie, property, a property purchase or sale for many, but heed security concerns in any transactions. All right. Surrender to the magic who you are. This just came up in Libra reading. Maybe you're on the cusp there. We all have magic in us, even in the mundane aspects of life. Remember that you are a magical being with the uniqueness and worth that came, that comes from just being you. Mm. A new day is dawning, I'm hearing. A new day is dawning. Maybe your name is Dawn. All right. I'm also hearing James and Nicholas. Sperm whale. Blessings. 36. Throat chakra. Expect abundant uh, blessings here, Scorpio. Tell the universe what you desire clearly, all right? Be open to receiving it. That's what we talked about in our reading. You know, trust that your prayers are being heard and answered. Your crystal card is black kyanite. Yes, yeah, uh, this is about setting strong boundaries, all right? Setting strong, very powerful, very powerful, that black kyanite, any kind of kyanite, powerful. 1212, sign of manifesting your dreams. Stay focused on your goals and your dreams. Happy birthday there, Scorpio, as we wrap up Scorpio season. Okay, and next we have Gemini. Did I just put Scorpio over here? No, I didn't. All right, Gemini, what do we need here? Surrender to your fear of intimacy. Hmm. These cards are quite intuitively... Um, coming out today. They're very, the, the cards themselves are really good. <laughs> you are ready to let love in, compassionately identify and begin to release any patterns that stop you from opening your heart. I'm thinking of that five of cups there that we saw. You have the lizard card 46. This is aligning to eternity. It's about your, cr your crown chakra. Don't let time or space limit you. Believe that everything is possible now. Be open to magic and miracles. 313, a sign of optimism. There you go, right with that lizard, optimism. Embracing positive change coming forward. And your crystal card is Lapidolite, recall your dreams. So if you can, write them down as soon as you get up. All right. Um, you know, or as soon as you remember them or whatever. Uh, especially if they're really powerful and it wakes you up, the dream itself, write it down. It may not make sense right away, but. It may in the next three weeks or something like that in a certain period of time. Or you might piece it together while you're awake. Aries. What do we have for Aries? Nourish your body, Aries. If you're tired, rest. If you are in pain, pamper yourself rather than pushing through it. I know a lot of Aries who are very hard workers. It's always go, go, go. <laughs> Treat your body as a precious friend. Listen to its needs. Angel number card. 666. We have a sign to leave doubt behind. Release and heal for greater things to come. Don't fear this number, by the way, all right? If you fear it, you give it power. Um, it's all, you know, sixes are about harmony, balance, all good things, okay? We have deer, card 25, uniqueness, heart chakra. You are perfect and beautiful just the way you are. I think of that Bruno Mars song, you know? All right, and love and, I'm not going to sing. I promise I will not sing. Sorry. All right, love and respect and accept yourself fully. Don't be afraid to be different. Don't be afraid to be different. Be you unapologetically. Moonstone, live your purpose. Yeah, and do so unapologetically, right? Don't be sorry for being you. If you're not you, who's going to be you, right? Everybody, really, who's going to be you if you're not you? Taurus, 
Reminds me of Dr. Seuss there. I had used to have this saying on the bathroom wall at a place I lived at a while ago. And it was about, you know, it was rhymy, of course. Like, you're truer than true. Nobody's more you or than you. Or something like that. I liked it. But anyway, Taurus. Let's see what you have here for Taurus. For Taurus, no, nope, this is not the right deck. I'm going to go to the right deck. I went by my feeling there. See your emotions as teachers, Taurus. Emotions can be vehicles for transformation, whether you're joyous or challenging. They can teach you how to overcome fear and cultivate passion, compassion. Some of you like peaches or name peaches means something. We have aquamarine here. It makes me think of March and the number 31. Uh, go with flow. All right. Getting a few intuitive messages here for that. Okay. Um, I'm getting something like a Cynthia or Sylvia, Sylvie. There's something like that or Sylvania, Sylvester. There's some kind of name like that coming in. I just heard something about imposter syndrome. You do deserve it. If you're doing something, you're working really hard, you know, know your value, know your worth. You do deserve this. You're not just an imposter in your field. You, you know this, all right? So some of you are job seeking too, all right? And, and really, you know, you're not, lots of people will embellish their resumes or lie in interviews or whatever. I found out I, I cannot do that. I mean, but what I used to do is I would even like undercut myself in interviews and on my resume. No, you're allowed to, um, you know, showcase yourself in your best light for, a re for on your resume or in an interview or in a cover letter. That's the time to do that. You want to show your best self. So don't feel at all bad about like, you know, um, talking about how great you are. I know it can be uncomfortable, but we have to do it, right? And you deserve it, you know? All right, let's see. We all deserve opportunities, right? Okay, raise your vibrations with 144. You're leveling up as a healer and a light worker. Yes. I just keep, oh, I just heard somebody say, leaving me speechless. So somebody may be having a hard time getting the words out. Or you may hear something that leaves you speechless. And this is for the collective, all right? Leo energy. What do we got for Leo here? Lapidolite. Okay, recall your dreams. Now, you know, Cancer just had this. So you also have it. And then you have surrender worry, Leo. Surrender the worry. Okay, this is making a commitment not to lead an anxiety-driven life. When worries arise, breathe them out of your body. Focus on the power of your heart and have faith that spirit is guiding you always. And you have Fox, Foxy, Foxy, 40, Fox, Divine Matrix, Third Eye Chakra. Don't believe everything you hear in your mind. Detach from fear. Reconnect with your higher truth. Ask for divine guidance. So this is about, you may actually get them in your dreams. Here's a tip. If you'd like to um, get intuitive answers before you go to bed, say it out loud um, or write it down or do both ask for what you want clarity on ask for in my dreams tonight i i you know um why am i having a word thing here see i'm not having a word a word delay thing or what is it i can't even remember what it's called that's how bad it is okay sometimes oh man how do i make it oh all right no but for real what you want to do i just heard something about simon and hero hero. All right. So just because Simon says you don't have to do it. All right. If you're caught up and worried uh, about what other people think, your, your, your thoughts and your feelings matter too. All right. But don't get carried away in this, uh, this, the spinning wheel that is our mind sometimes. Okay. And if you want clarity, write it down, write it down that you would, you want that to be delivered to you in your dreams in a way that is for your greatest and highest good that you can understand. Be very clear in what it is that you want to get from this dream. And a lot of the times it will happen. Some of you don't remember your dreams, but if you start doing something like this, you may realize that you are starting to, right? I like anything else, practice. 606, sign to find gratitude. Be thankful for all the blessings you have in your life. All right, Leo, Aquarius. All right, Aquarius, what do we have here? I just heard something about a bog and basement. So I'm getting like a Massachusetts accent and uh, getting a good deal, all right? Maybe you're gonna get a basement apartment and it's like a really good deal, like a bog and basement apartment, you know? All right, uh, okay, Malachite, it's time to transform. Hmm, lovely. 
and experience the passion of fire reignite your life force by gazing into a cozy fire recharging the sunlight or lighting a candle allow fire to spark your vision and your vitality you have white shark flow 14 sacral chakra it's about your fertility your creativity flow with the natural currents of life be present and alert but don't let fear control your journey trust that you are divinely protected i just heard monkey all right and you have 11 sign of intuition you're learning to trust your gut feelings mm, gut feelings something actually doesn't feel right in your actual stomach area obviously get it checked out by a doctor uh, full disclosure please check that out blah blah blah. but and siri is okay whatever but also um make sure that you know you are listening to your intuition because there are a lot of nerves in your actual gut area where it would be located in your body and i feel as though that is a real thing those are real signals and i feel that's what's kept our our species alive this long is following those gut feelings you know in the past we didn't have you know i think back to when we very very started all we had really was like nature signs paying attention to the signs and all that and in your gut following your instincts we had to be more instinctual and as we became more conditioned you know we we rely now on more on external forces when before we had yes we had the general environment nature or whatever but we also had um our gut feeling and honestly i don't know what else we have because i wasn't around so or maybe i was and i don't remember it you never know for pisces let go of being a martyr mm, okay find a balance between giving and receiving it's not healthy to give so much that you feel ill or exhausted oh yeah some of the pisceans are here are working too hard and trying to help others way too much make sure you're not doing it at the cost of your own health or well-being you also have you also had white shark after a shuffle uh, flow with the natural currents of life be present and alert don't allow fear to control your journey trust you're divinely protected with the white shark but i'm going to get you another one here because it was a repeat wolf card 45 crown chakra you are a divine being so much more majestic than you could even imagine embrace your true greatness your leadership power serves many that is 100 percent true i can feel it and i know it and as a matter of fact, I know some really awesome Pisces who are awesome leaders. All right. And they give and give and give. <laughs> All right. So listen to your inner wisdom. Go within. Let that guide you. And we have, ooh, tourmalined quartz. Get out of your own way. All right. That's what we have. Next, we have the final sign, Capricorn. Cap. Capricorn. There's something about it, like a message in a bottle or an envelope. This is for any sign, by the way. So there's something about um, maybe not having that message or that official thing is like hindering your, it's hindering something with what you're trying to do because you don't have like official, you're waiting for a word on something, I feel like. Or you might feel like something's being held from you. That's what's coming in. Do, 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 do. It's just in. Do, 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 do. <laughs> All right. Um, or you might like that song, uh, Message in a Bottle. Do, do. I don't know who sings I forget. When I'm over here doing this, I'm kind of tuning out my actual thoughts and stuff, memory and all that. So here we go. Road night. Find a way to forgive. Mm. What else? You need to surrender to receiving support and love. Allow love and support of others in rather than trying to handle everything yourself. This can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you. Eight, eight, sign of enlightenment. You have achieved wisdom and find success. Ooh, what do you have? Ooh, elephant. Pick a direction there. Seven, number seven. Root chakra. Place your feet firmly on the ground. Hey, you are an earth sign connect with the earth element new clarity manifests as you get out of your head and into your body all right so those are the messages i have for you please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button please and like subscribe share leave a comment i'd really appreciate it um lets me know i should keep doing the readings readings like this or at all and 
I really appreciate it. All right. Thank you so much. Bye.